Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two that I wasn't even planning on making for the scroll wheel and continuous forms video. I made part one, thought that was it. But then I got a comment from one of my members who had a much simpler solution to what I showed you in part one. So if you haven't watched part one yet, I show you how to make a sub form down here which will then allow you to scroll the mouse wheel up and down in here without this part scrolling. And this is okay, and I'm still gonna leave this video up because this is a decent method, and it's an expert method, which means it doesn't involve any programming. So if you're one of those people that doesn't wanna use VBA anymore, this method's perfectly fine. And then in the extended cut, I showed the members how to automatically have this subform resize based on the size of the, the subform object. And that was pretty cool too. Those are, they're all good tips to have. But then I got a comment from Damien, one of my silver members. He says, you can also fix this with two lines of VBA, an on got focus and an on lost focus. It's me dot scroll bars, which basically says you're turning the scroll bars off on the parent form, on the continuous form, when the text box gets the focus. And I looked at it, I was like, no, it can't be that simple. And this is genius. I love this. I love, love, love when you guys teach me something. And I, of course, I, I had to try it immediately. So let me walk you through it. Of course, real quick, this is a developer lesson. So if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It'll get you started in about 20 minutes. But today's really simple. It's just two lines of code. All right, so here I am in the Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can download off the website if you want to. We could start with yesterday's database too, but I'm just gonna go right into the customer list. We put a note field down here on the bottom, right? So I stole that note field from the customer form, which already has a notes field. We'll just copy that and come down to here, go to design view, paste it in here, okay? All right, now what we'll do is we'll save this and then come back into it. And the problem we had was you can scroll with the wheel up here, but if you click down here and scroll, it also scrolls the records up top, which is undesirable. And in part one, I showed you, well, you could just make this a subform, and that gets rid of that problem. And here's Danian's genius idea. Here's all you do is you turn off the scroll bar when this field gets the focus. The focus is wherever you're sitting. Right now, last name has focus, right? Customer ID has focus. Well, when the notes field gets the focus, turn off the scroll bar. So we'll go into the notes field, go to events, find on got focus. There's got focus and lost focus. Go to got focus. And in here, we're gonna say me. Now remember, me represents the form. Okay, me is not the control, me is the form. So me dot scroll bars equals zero. Zero is off. And then we'll go in the lost focus event, which you can get right here. There's lost focus. We're going to say me dot scroll bars equals two. Two is vertical. I believe if memory serves, one is horizontal only. And I think three is both, but I'm not sure. So let me look it up real quick. Yeah, that's right. Zero, one is horizontal, two, vertical, three, both. All right, so save that. Always throw in a debug compile. We can close the VBA editor, close the form, reopen it. Now I can scroll up here, and if I click down here, look at that, the scroll bar disappeared up top, and now I'm scrolling down here. And if I decide I wanna click back up top, I can do that again, see, isn't that nice? See? You gotta give the, the, the text box focus though by clicking on it first at least once. That's not a big deal. And if you come over here, you have to also click up here. But I like it, it's a good solution, it's, it's beautiful. And like I said, I love it when you guys teach me something, that's wonderful. So that's it for today. Nice and short and simple and sweet. I wasn't planning on doing a part two, but there's your part two. Uh, thank you, Damien, for the tip. And that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, 
but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guide. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. 
And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.